everyone, welcome. Thank you for taking time out in your day, everyone, to come and join me on this call. Um, how many of you, I'm just curious, how many of you are doing video presentations, um, online work on, you know, you, it's much more. I know, Ali, you are, yeah? Okay. And the rest of you aren't. So I'm curious. Yeah, okay, there, Renate is, okay. So, all right, so let me just talk a little bit. What I'm going to be discussing today is a little bit about the energy of communication, okay? And what it really means is, you know, in the world that in today, what happens is that we, we're, we're so accustomed to being offline and just communicating and looking at the cues around us to see the communication so that we learn how to communicate you know, face to face. And now with our changing world and everything that's been going on, we're really needing, there's a need to learn how to communicate um, and to really transmit our energy through the screen so that you're really getting to the other person. And I think this, what happens is what we're going to, I'm going to be discussing today is what it really boils down to is how your energy is in, within you. And then we'll discuss how you can transmit that energy. Okay. So, um, in the world that we've been living in until now, we've had so many people that are online vloggers and bloggers. And, you know, I'm a wellness coach. So my focus is primarily on looking at um, people and trying to reduce stress as well as to increase your energy. So this is something about the energy of communication is something that we want, we really want to try and do is to, to reduce a little bit of our stress when we get online. And, and these, the tools and techniques that I'm going to be sharing with you today are actually going to help you not only for your online communication, but also um, for in everyday communication and for your energy per se. Okay. So we've had a lot of vloggers and bloggers and they're all, you know, a lot of them are, are, you know, however they're presenting themselves, everybody's presenting themselves in one way or another. But I think really what we're looking forward to, and as we move forward into this new world, what, what really people are wanting is authenticity. Okay. And what does this mean? This means really being yourself. Okay. And energy, when we look at what energy is, energy in different traditions um, is like in, in the yogic tradition, it'll be prana. Okay, it's the energy, that, 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 that essential energy that exists. It's also chi or ki. Um, like, you know, I'm sure most of you have heard about tai chi and qi gong and all of these exercises where you're practicing your internal energy. And one of the practices that I do, which I'm dying to get back to, is um, I Chi, which is it's a practice that is practiced in water, in warm water. And what you do is you open up the, all of the movements, are beautiful movements that, that open up and flow and connecting to the breath. Okay, so, and really I, what I means is I is love. So it's connecting with your breath and your breath is in the heart center here. So it's trying to communicate not so much from your head and not really living from so much your head, but really bringing your energy down into your other centers so that there's more balance in your life so that your communication also comes across balanced. so if i'm going to be in your face like this and i'm like really getting out there and it's going to be just way too much but if i'm also like standing back and i'm just like trying to communicate something neither of these are going to work and one of the things about energy is and this is where it can apply not only in your communication, but also within your life in, in general. When you are what they call being ahead of the chi, ahead of the energy, is when you're trying to grasp something that is way out there and you want to grab it and you're really getting there, but you're not in that present moment. It's like when your presentations are, you know, you're out there and you want to try and get them and there's, this, there's that urgency. You're not in your center. How many people of you, how many of you know what it is to be centered? Probably those of you who are massage therapists, it's being centered. And we're going to do some exercise because what I love to do, part of the work that I do is, so that it's not just conceptual, it's really, we'll do some experimenting about this. So when your energy is far back and maybe you're lagging, your energy is back because maybe we're hanging into our past. We're still stuck on our past. And what better moment now to just allow our past, whatever we don't want to bring forward, it's been a perfect opportunity. Yes, there's been a lot of fear. There's been a lot of what's been going on, but what a perfect opportunity. And we've all been through, I'm sure, some massive transformations, some major changes. We've had to rethink our lives, rethink the way we do things. And just what is it that we can leave behind in the world that we leave behind and what is it that we can bring forward? What is it that we want to introduce into this new world? And I think one of the essential things that we want is, is much more authenticity, yeah? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, share with you something that is, so I'm going to share, let me see, I'm going to share my screen because I want to show you this one 
image because we're going to look at the vagus, the vagus nerve. Can you see my screen? Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to share this image. Okay. So can you see this image? Yeah. Okay, so if we look at it, it's not, a, it's not the greatest, but if we look at it, um, I want to look at the, 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 the nervous system, our central nervous system. And the reason why you might think, why am I talking about this? Well, the thing is that if we look at this green one, which is the one of our social, the one of, there's two sympathetic, there's two nervous systems. One is the parasympathetic, which is really um, the, when we're re relaxing. And the other one is the sympathetic, which is the one that's the amber one going down here, down our spinal cord. And that, that is the one that when we're really ac in active, in active mode. But this one, which is the, the red one, okay, the red one is the one that is part of the parasympathetic nervous system. As you can see, it connects our whole body. And then this green one, which is really interesting, this green one is our social one. So when we interact with people, um, what happens is we, we've got something that is developed in neuroscience. They're talking about neuroception. So it's not like perception. Our perception is something that we're aware of. We can pick up certain cues. Our neuroception is something in our brain that we just re we detect things automatically. It's, we, we don't even really notice it. And this is what happens when we, when really are, it's from our primitive side of the brain, when we're trying to look at our environment um, scan and see, it's for our survival, it's our survival brain, to see if there's anything, there's any danger, and so that our body and our minds and whatever it is that can protect us from any um, perceived danger. And this, this is really important because it could be a perceived danger or it could be a real danger. If it's a real danger, our body's gonna kick into the stress mode, it's gonna bring you know, all, the, all the stress hormones into our body, which are primarily adrenaline and cortisol, and then our body is gonna be flooded with that, and it's gonna have this, this it's gonna wreak havoc on our nervous system. So what's really important is to really develop, um, tone your vagus, your vagal nerve, okay? And what it is, is, is doing the exercise that we're going to be doing a little bit later on is going to help you to, to do this. Because when we look at this green line, Part of our communication, when we communicate our facial, the, how our, our face moves, how, our, how we, it connects to our heart, okay, this, this nervous system connects to our heart. So the more that we're connected into our heart, the better it is. And this is, it also connects to our, our voice. So if I'm speaking like this, and then the kind of voice you're not going to want to listen to me, okay, the deeper your voice is, not only do you have more authority, but it also connects to your heart. And when we're communicating more down, really down in our energy down, when we come, become more centered, and this is the whole thing about our centered communication, um, about being centered about our energy, energetic communication that I'm, that I'm conveying at the moment. So I think this is a really interesting um, diagram to illustrate how important it is because when we are on video this is this is really the only part that people are seeing so they're seeing our facial expressions they're seeing our eyes when we look into the camera whether you know if i'm looking away and i'm sort of doing this you're not going to really pay much attention so how is it that you can bring all of these parts into yourself so i want to just stop oops i want to stop that share for a moment and just ask if anybody has any questions so far if you want to type into the box, you can type into the chat box. Or if you have any questions so far. Um, yeah, Lynn is saying to slow the speech down. That is so important. That is really important. And one of the things talking about the speech as well is um, not only, because if, we, if, if I say something and that intonation goes down, the, the likelihood of somebody um, really believing that, because internally we're probably not believing it. So it's either flat or even going up you know, going up and grabbing people's attention. So you can start, if my voice is very monotonous, then it's just not gonna, it's not gonna have that communication. You know, you want to bring in a little bit more of your energy. So what I'm gonna do now is I want to take a look at, I'm just gonna see if I can share another screen. I'm still getting, we're all getting used to this. And I'm not sure if the last talk that I gave, we talked shared, we, discuss this. Can you see this one? Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, before we were on, on the call, you know, we started the call and talking about, you know, whether masks or not masks, and there's a lot of fear 
Okay, there's a huge, huge amount of fear. And this is something that, that is going to communicate, it's going to come across. And I think one of the things that, we, that is required of us is to start coming down into our heart center and really love because our energy is much more stronger. And believe me, from, a, uh, from the point of view, from a quantum perspective, our energy is, we are able to connect. And I don't know, you might want to practice this with some of your friends and just be online with them and just be in silence and getting into your heart center and just connecting with them. Maybe we'll do it. Let's, I think we'll do it and we'll just come down. So after we've done a couple of these exercises that I want to share with you, um, we'll do this exercise and just stop for a moment and really just communicate with our hearts and see if we can feel anything. So this is, this is something that, that is, it's been proven. There's an institute that is called the HeartMath Institute and this HeartMath Institute um, has um, you know, they, they measure it from an electromagnetic perspective. Our heart has 60 times greater energy um, to get into the field that we're in um, and than, than, than the brain, for example. So it's much greater. So when the further we're down in this area, we can communicate from our heart. It's a much nicer communication and it's a much more authentic communication that we're communicating with. So let's just take a moment now and i want you to just be very present with your breath and just notice your breath without trying to change it or anything and just to notice it and one of the amazing ways to connect with the parasympathetic nervous system and that vagal nerve the one that is going to help us to get down into our center is through the exhalation because our lungs are they're smaller at the top and they're larger at the bottom. So at the bottom, there is, um, they're connected to the vagal nerve. So when we, when we put more of an exhalation, all right, more emphasis on the exhalation, we're going to connect and tap into that, um, that part of our body that is going to bring us into a much more centered place. So if you want to just try and experiment, and I know a lot of people when they say, you know, relax, take a breath. What, what I teach is I, I like to say, take a Take an exhalation because take a little bit of an, if you want to just take a little bit of an inhalation at the moment. And as you exhale, really try and squeeze out as much as you can. And to do so, you'll squeeze your abdominal muscles, you'll squeeze your rib cage, you'll just really squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then relax all of those muscles that you're squeezing in and just allow that breath to come in. And if you do this three times, just at your own pace, just squeeze, 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 squeeze. So you're putting a little bit of pressure onto that. And then you just open up your lungs and the lungs open up. This beautiful air comes in and you feel the relaxation coming in as you do so. And what's happening on a physiological level is that this, your breath is relaxing. Through the breath, you can start relaxing your body and you can start connecting to this vagal nerve and this vagal nerve will connect you to your um, parasympathetic nervous system, connecting to your body in a, in a very positive way. Um, another one of the things that we can do is we can sing, we can listen to music, all right, so these are things that we're going to be able to do to, to tone our vagal nerve. So listen to music, sing, because it's all here, okay? Remember in the diagram when those, the, the, the nervous system comes through this area? Sing, get your voice out, communicate, you know, just even, you know that thing about singing in the shower? Just go ahead and sing in the shower, you know, really to get your vibration up. It'll get your energy up. You'll feel much better, okay? So calm yourself down, but also there's something that you can do is to is to do that and communicate with people, connect. You know, this is just for us getting here together. You know, all of us who are taking some precious time of our day and we're getting together and we're just connecting. And, you know, we'll have a time later on where we'll open up the mics, yeah, uh, Ali, and, and everybody can give their, their, um, their view on, on, on how this is going. So what I'd like to encourage you to do is to, it was so funny, I just want to share a story because I was, I'm doing this, um, pr these presentations for, for work colleagues of mine who are travel directors and obviously there's no travel happening at the moment and a lot of them are stressed. So we've put together this program and I was talking about this the other day and it's so interesting because I had under the impression that there was just these two nervous systems and then I found out through a course that I'm doing um, 
it, that there is that the nervous system is much more complex than this and I was fascinated so in the morning um, I prepared this talk and as I was talking I didn't fully understand the system and as I was talking about it my voice started clamping up which was really interesting and then I just became aware that that my voice clamping up as I'm speaking about this was just a clear indication that because I hadn't prepared it, my, my, my I didn't fully understand it so I wasn't really um, centered i wasn't centered and my voice started coming through and of course there are colleagues of mine so i had a good laugh and a good good chuckle but something else that happened was that one of the one of our colleagues had put in a in the comment um that oh you know i'm wearing my special pants okay and he's a very funny colleague we all love him he's actually considered to be you know the best td which is the travel director and so on and he was wearing funny pants and i thought to myself i need to make it point because when we stand up now so I hope you're wearing your pants when we stand up and I was just said make a point of making you know making a mention of him just to bring in a little bit of humor to make it interactive when you are communicating online and because I was nervous I forgot and afterwards it was like man I really wish I had done that and so so these are just things that, that when you are giving a presentation when you aren't in your center and when you aren't doing it from this place where you are um in it in it and if you do get out that's okay that's okay then it's just like what i felt what i did was just really being authentic and just saying oh look what's happening it's really happening or even what you can do is just stop and take that breath and so just even giving that space taking a little bit of a breath, centering yourself back again, and then moving forward. So I'd just like you to, if you invite you to stand up wherever you are. And I want to just see if I can move my, my camera a little bit so that you can see. Now, for those of you who have done a lot of um, breath work, body work, and so on, this will probably be um, familiar to you. For those of you who haven't, it might be something new because we live very much from our head up. Okay, very much. Most of it, what we do is from our head up. So I just want you to, be, to, to become very aware of, make sure your both feet are grounded and tilt just a little bit forward so that you can get your, the pressure and become aware of your, your pressure on the front of your toes. And then just push back a little bit so you just move back a little bit. So when we are back, you can feel that our energy is back there. And when we move forward, our energy comes forward. So Let's just try and see if we can find a nice place as we just gently rock forward and back. And really finding your center at this moment. Your posture is really important. So if I'm, you can stay as you are, but if you just want to notice, try, try this as you're standing and just bend your shoulders forward. Put your head down, bring your head down shoulders forward and just stay here in this moment really just bringing our shoulders forward and staying in this moment for a moment and noticing what you feel see what you feel just really dropping your head dropping your shoulders forward like the hunchback of notre dame and just feel what it feels notice what it notice maybe a sensation of maybe a heaviness or something like that and then as we take it in and take a nice deep breath in roll your shoulders up and back drop them and just exhale and as you exhale just really relax your body just notice the sensations and notice how it feels so different so if in my presentation I am here, or even in my life, if I am here and I'm crouched over, my heart isn't open. Remember the image of the love and, and the fear? Fear, when we're fearful, we're gonna be in this protective way. We're gonna try and control and protect ourselves. So as we're open, you can even notice, that I noticed in my voice at that particular moment that my voice can carry much better, that if I'm speaking like this, I've just realized something. Look at this, my voice. You can see how my voice comes down here and it's just coming here. Whereas when I open it up, I can feel my voice can, can come from my heart and can come from that center. So take your seats back again for those of you who want to and just maybe if you want to share, share um, your experience there. But I'm sure that you, know, you, you will probably notice that it is a very different sensation that you are feeling. And 
So just take a note of that. And I want to just give you a moment here where we're just going to connect together. I'm just going to close our eyes and then we can open up after this. We can open up the microphone and we'll just get into conversation and some nice dialogue about this. Um, so just take a nice seat and make sure that your feet are nice on the ground. Feeling our toes, wiggle your toes a little bit because what happens is that we spend so much time up in our head and in our brains and all of the technology that we're doing brings us up into the space. Just invite you to just wiggle your toes and just press your toes down onto the ground and just really connect your heels and feel the connection. And not only your physical connection, your energetic connection down to your feet. And as you do so, you just become aware of every single little muscle and all of the little bones in your toes. And when you've connected with that part of your body, just gently allow the energy to come up through your ankles, up through your calves and up through your knees, and up through your thighs and through your pelvic floor, through all the beautiful organs that you have in your body. Just coming up to the heart space and recognizing your heart, taking a nice deep breath here. And we put the, the attention on our head and notice any sensations in our head and just really connecting even with the hair on our head, connecting with our facial expression, whatever it is at the moment, coming down through the neck, coming down through the shoulders, through the arms and into the heart. And if you don't feel anything here, you might want to just place your hands first, your left hand, and then your right hand on the center of your chest. Because where our attention goes, our energy will flow. So through our hands, we can put our attention on our hands. Take a nice deep breath into your heart space, and this is going to make all of your attention from the tip of your toes to the top of your head coming down and all the way into the center of your body, into this yummy heart space. And just connect with this wonderful feeling of love. And it's not a romantic sense of love, it's the energy of love. And connecting with everybody who's here today, all of these wonderful shiny faces, lovely people, lovely ladies. And feeling gratitude, so I thank you very much for being here and also thanking Ali for providing this beautiful space for us to come together. You can also thank your body, find anything to be grateful for, just every, every single cell in your body, just thanking, for, thanking your body and yourself for showing up today. For whatever it is that you've, you're gonna take away from this morning, just be grateful for the lesson. And see how you can integrate it into your practice, into your day, into your communication, whether it be online or whether it just be in general communication skills that you have when you are communicating. Because when we communicate from here, from this space, it's a much more authentic space to communicate from. So take a nice deep breath in and exhale. Just allow any tension left over just to allow it to just release it. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. <laughs>